happy to try again. Go ahead. Um, you want me to ask the question again about what I ask trying to find out from you? This is the closest answer I found. There are two reasons that could be preventing you from accessing the Get My Payment tool. Either no, 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 stop, 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 stop. I've gotten my Get Payment tool. It says that payment was sent on 2 April to the address that you have in, on file. I assume that that's my bank where the other payments went to. Now, I have two letters oh, and... Uh, uh, yes, go on, please. This is the closest answer I found. There are two reasons that could be preventing you from accessing the Get My Payment tool. No, 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 I, I, I can get my payment, I get my payment tool. The Get My Payment tool says that a payment was made on 2 April, but I have not gotten any payment. There's no payment to my bank. There's two letters from President Biden. One says, on, which was said oh. both on uh, April 22nd. Let me finish, please, before you go into your robotic uh, voice. Um, I, but both letters came from, uh, dated April 22nd. One says that a check was sent to, to my bank, I guess. I still do. And the other says that uh, a direct deposit was made. These are both sent on April 22nd from President Biden. I, ha I have the letters here, and and I'm, I'm now I'm trying to find out what's happened to my money. It's now uh, June 8th, and I have not. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative. Oh, thank you. May you may hear a moment of silence while I connect you. Okay, uh, thank you. Your call may be monitored or recorded for purposes. Please hold while your call is transferred. Hello, you're calling the IRS telephone line. Hello, yes, I, 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 I pay me to my ID three four eight one four eight. Speaking on behalf of the IRS, I can help you with some general questions only. Please do not share any personal or tax account information, such as social security number, date of birth, or banking information during this call. We cannot access your tax account. How can I assist you today? Okay, I'm not calling about my taxes. I'm calling about my uh, uh, COVID simulation, stimulus payment of $1,400. I have two letters uh, from President Biden that were sent on April 22nd. One says that the payment was made uh, to to my bank and do, as a direct deposit, which was done by as the same done by the other payments. The second letter says that a payment was made by a paper check or debit card, whatever that is. Okay, and um, that that uh, uh, so okay. These two now, if I go to my, get my payment uh, app that you have, uh, it says that a payment w was issued on two April to the address that you have on file which I assume is the bank because that's where they went to last time um, but it could be my address in Malaysia where I'm talking to you from um, that means that a check might have been sent here I have no idea now I, you're not going to be able to help me unless I can give you some information because otherwise I'm just you know babbling to you I mean information like my social security number, um, my bank account uh, number, my check uh, number. Um, I, you know, m basically I want to know, you know what happened to this money. It's now June and I don't have it. And I got two letters that say I should call you if I don't have it. So I called last week and spent five hours on the phone and I didn't really mm, get anywhere actually. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I got to get through this babble that we're going to have, and and just tell me, is there somebody that can really help me? Yes, sir. Now you did state that your payment. Now, can you tell me the date that your payment was sent out? According to the according to the letters that I got. Uh, okay, two things. According to the letters, there it was sent out on April twenty second. And that letter says, if you don't receive this in seven days, to contact you. I didn't get that letter till 
a week ago because I'm in Malaysia and there's no, there's no mail actually. <laughs> um, the, if I go to get my payment, it says it was sent on 2 April. Um, I, I don't have it. I, I haven't seen the money. I've contacted my bank. They, they've not seen mm -hmm. it. Okay. My bank account is in America, of course. It's Wells Fargo. Um, the last two payments went directly to my account. When this uh, information was issued about the $1,400 payment, it said if you got the payments in the last, the last two payments, it would be the same process for these payments, for this payment, sorry. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So in order for you to um, um, figure out what's going on with these payments, to, to be conducive is go ahead and start you up with the payment trace. Now the payment trace is going to indicate if your payment's been lost, stolen, or used. Hmm. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you know that you do have two options being transferred over directly to the IRS to start this trace. Hmm. Or we can go over how you would fill out the 3911 form, which is the form that you would have to fill out yeah, on your yeah, own. Uh, yeah, and I, you would have to either mail or fax it over no, to the okay, IRS. Okay, I don't want to do the form because there's no post going to America right now, okay? Um, and I don't know about yeah, facts. I, I prefer, as I said the last time, to speak to somebody. Now, when I do this with you all, what happens is that it, you disappear. And then I call back and we go through the same babble with somebody else. And then it disappears again. So I hope there is a real person that could just trace it for me. I can give them the numbers. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried that you're going to steal anything from me. <laughs> so I just give you my social security number, my, my bank address or number, whatever you need. And from that, you, sh you must know whether it's been sent or not sent. Yes, sir. So I do want to go ahead and let you know. Um, the department that I'm in, I wouldn't be able to take any personal information. Right. Now, for you to start the payment trace, I can go ahead and transfer you over like you did ask, so they can go ahead and start your payment trace for you. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, that would be great. Thank you very much if you can do that. But uh, uh, please don't let me get cut off again. You know, I've, I've spent four hours on this. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So I do want to go ahead and let you know, unfortunately, I wouldn't have any... Um, any control on if you do get disconnected, sir? I, I, now, if you do get disconnected, you would have to go ahead and give us a call back to see if you... Yes, I, I know. I, I, I've done this for five hours already, you know, so I'm, t I'm taking another crack at it today, you know, because, um, yeah, what the hell. <laughs> so, yeah, try to put me through, you know. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank no you. problem, sir. Thank, so thank you, you are going to hear a moment of silence while I go ahead and transfer okay, you. Yeah. I do want to thank you for calling and have a good rest of your day, sir. Okay, thank you for your patience. And, um... Please wait. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. Okay. Please hold while your call is transferred. Okay. We're sorry, but due to extremely high call volume in the topic you requested, we are unable to handle your call at this time. Please try again later or on our next business day. You can also visit us on the web at www.irs.gov. Thank you. Please hire some more people. My God, this is the fifth time. Oh my God.